Good evening. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. My name is Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are Matusu Craft. Yes. Welcome to our channel where independent stampin' up demonstrators based in the UK. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria or the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase card stampin' up products from our online shop. To use the current host code which can be found on our website at mitosucrafts.com to receive a handmade card from us the following month or any extra gifts if your order qualifies in the form of tutorial bundles designed by the Stamping Lounge Squad and the Global Creative Project. Uh, for the month of March 2022, the free tutorial bundles are, um, what is it called? Abstract, Abstract Beauty, Beauty and In the Garden theme and previous tutorial bundles are available on our website if you can't order from us and get them for free, uh, like the mini bundles and celebration as well as In the Garden. <laughs> Do it with DSP. <laughs> Check it out on the website. Yes, we give away the products that we create, so don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to be able to pop in a comment during our live stream and you'll be put into a random draw. Uh, also, you can come back and pop in another comment into the actual video for another chance to win one of the cards. Um, so yes, so before we give away this card I created a week ago with the amazing silhouettes. Um, yeah, it's amazing silhouettes. Yeah, amazing it? silhouettes. So yeah, that was Jay's second card which he made. So if you would like a chance to win it and you haven't done so already, um, you have a few minutes whilst Jay says hi. The link to it is, I've pinned it at the top of the comments in the live chat. So if you would like, uh, if you haven't done so already and you'd like an opportunity, quickly click on that link. Um, but do obviously come back and see us to make sure if you want, you want. <laughs> um, and we'll do that. I'm just going to say, don't be don't be deceived by Jay's halo he's got going on over here. He's not an angel, really. <laughs> anyway, yes, um, was there anything else? <laughs> That you want to add? No, I think that's about it, really. Cool. Um, so you say hi, and then we yes. will do that, and then we're going to crack on with tonight's demonstration. Yes. So we have Connie, Lo, um, and Sandra, Charlotte. Hello, Charlotte. We also have Gian, uh, Amanda, Teresa, Jackie, uh, Pixie Petal, Jenny, like that. Ready? Nani Shasha, <laughs> you did double. Shasha Shasha. <laughs> oh, is that only one? Shasha. Yeah. Okay. All right. I do. I give you. A, I give you a double. Double wiggle. Double wiggle. <laughs> we also have Wendy from Nova Scotia. Uh, Sherry, hello to Sue, Betty H. Brenton is here as well. Uh, crafting down under. Uh, Kathy Crafty Sessions, Kisha, hi Kisha, Shirley, uh, Janice, <laughs> Susie Q, uh, Janice Stamps, Sue Mayers, Angie, uh, Maureen, John, Sandra Williams, <laughs> Louise, and Belinda. I think I have everyone. Yes. Yeah. So thank you all so much for joining us. So. Tonight we are going to be playing with the Waves of the Ocean stamp set and um, Waves of Inspiration, um, no, Waves of Inspiration stamp set and the Wave Stars, wave stars from the Waves of the Ocean suite. Whew, too many waves, um, too many W's. <laughs> How does it go? Should we do a Mexican wave? <laughs> it's only two of us. <laughs> Tommy and Cloak, Tommy Oh, involved. come on, Tommy. No, it's not. Yeah. So, yes, uh, we have our retreat um, on Sunday. So, if you want to join us, you can join us uh, live. Uh, what time is it? Um, 10 o'clock in the morning. Well, uh, but yeah, we start at 10 o'clock in the morning on Sunday until about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Yes. Um, obviously, we do know that's going to be um, tricky for some of you who are overseas on different time zones, but it is going to be recorded so you can either join us live and have a either early morning or a late night or come back and watch it afterwards. Um, yes, so that's all on our website still as well. So there is the option if you want to come and join us, you still can. Um, so yes, but the UK kit options have unfortunately closed, so you can't join us for that, mm. unfortunately, because we won't be able to send them out to you. Yes. 
Cool. Um, so yes, lovely. Um, so yeah, we will do that now. Is there any last minute names coming? Because we've waffled a little bit more since we've, we. We um, have um, Ka. Hi Ka. Good to say hi to Louise there. Yes, Louise and Belinda. Lovely, excellent. So let's do the drawing for this, and then we'll crack on with tonight's demo. Ooh, I nearly click end stream then. Oh, that was lucky, wasn't it? <laughs> what's happening? I don't know what's happening. There oh, it there it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Right, just refresh that one. I think it not, it's just slow. Okay. Nothing else. So good luck, everyone. Can I just do, can I just have a little look at something? I'm I'm aware of it your is, screen. Um, That's yeah, why. the website is very slow, isn't it tonight? Are you plugged in? I'm just going. Just bear with me one moment, please. It's just really slow. It is just really slow. It's fine. I think it it's did. right. The page is reloading yeah. now, anyway. Yeah, yeah. So um, let's. Yeah, we've oh, got forty-two. Okay. So four more. Good luck, everyone. And the winner is Sue, Sue. Myers. Congratulations, Sue! If you could please email us, Barry and Jay at matusucrafts .com. Please pop today's date, the thirtieth of March, twenty twenty-two, in the subject line, and your full mailing address. And we will pop this card in the post to you. So this is Jay's second card, which he made using the lovely, amazing silhouette stamp set, and some great techniques actually. So um, which Charlotte? Um... Case. Charlotte Case, yes, yeah. you did, didn't you? We saw your cards there, Charlotte. So, um, so um, yeah, they were lovely. But yes, this card here is going to be working its way over to you, Sue. If you like it, that is, obviously. Um, we will post that to you. So, yeah, as mentioned, we are going to be doing the... Um, going to be doing the waves. This one right here. Um, so, I'm going to be doing some... I think they're relatively simple cards. Um, there's a few techniques. I've just realised there's some things which I actually need. Um, ah. Jay's, out, Jay's out of the room, so I can get that no. quickly. So there is going to be a few. Oh. There is going to be a few things which I still do need, actually. But um, that's fine. I'll, I'll I'll let Jay have the point. I'll, I'll take the I'll take the points tonight. So um, so who is going to be our Madam Favour Counting Request Commissioner? Um, so I think. So it's either Mum, if you are here, which you are, I think you can do that. And it's um, is it Betty? Are you going to look after that for us as well, Betty? So do, do our counting. But yes, so this is it. So I'm going to just do some bits and bobs. So I've got myself some card base here. So I've got myself and my normal basic white thick. I'm just going to create myself my normal card base, as you do. As you do. And we'll score that in half at ten and a half. So us here in the UK, we cut our card base is fourteen point six by twenty one and then score it in half at ten and a half and that creates our lovely card base. It's just us. <laughs> is it just I us? Don't, I don't think uh, yeah, I think it's, I think it's just us that cuts it to those sizes because we seem to confuse everyone else. So I think the normal size which a lot of people do will be fourteen point fourteen point nine point nine nine and a half if you want to be exact. Uh, yeah, if you want to be exact with cutting your ARA4 cardstock in half, then it's yeah, it's fourteen point eight and a half or fourteen point nine, somewhere around, but it's somewhere between it. Um, and it's just easier for us to go fourteen point six or five and three quarters of an inch. It's just easier. So um, yes, yeah, so that's what we what, why we do it. So we need to get that trending. <laughs> All right. I've also got myself a bit of base. Sorry, a bit of Knight of Navy cardstock here. This here is measuring six by ten point five. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to take a bit of basic white, some normal basic white, and I'm going to cut this to six by ten. Okay, and then we've got some scraps which we can do some die cutting. So this part here is going to be for this one, which is going to sit and mat and layer on that one right there. All right. 
So what we're going to do is I'm going to do some stamping first. So I've got some of these bits here which I've got for stamping. I'm going to take the waves itself. This one right here. And you do need a large block for this one, so uh, we'll do that one there. And I'm also going to be taking the bird, which is that one there. And I am going to take the, I'll be using a lot here. You are totally awesome. That sentiment right there. And I want the birds, and I love these birds. That one right there. So that's all of the stuff which I am going to be using sentiment wise and stamp wise. So we've used a large one, we've used that one, we've used this, and we're going to be using your totally awesome for the sentiment. All right, so I first of all need to stamp my. Stamp my bird. I'm going to stamp my bird and I'm going to be using this with some of the soft suede here. And whilst it's still wet, I'm going to be doing a little bit of colouring with this to pull some stuff out. So I've got my ink there and I'm just going to stamp that down like so. And what I've got is I've got myself one of the blender pens. So this one right here. And I'm just going to use this just to kind of like colour and pull some of this ink whilst it's still wet just to colour it in. So I'm not actually adding any ink. I'm just using the ink which is already here. And we colour this in. It just basically is, uh, just moves the ink around. Do you actually know what the liquid is inside these blender pens, Jay? A clear wine? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> um, it's a clear, wet substance. Don't really know. <laughs> um, it's odourless, I, I think. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm just going to then use oh. this just for colouring in the bird a little bit, just to kind of shade up. Just to add a little bit of shading on there. Alright, so that's just something which you can do. Um, I'm going to, being that I've got it with me, some Calypso Coral. And I'm just going to pick a little bit of this up. Now I've got some ink in my, in my lid here, which is fine. So what I can do is I'm going to pick a little bit of this up. I'm just going to see how strong this is. And I'm just going to just gently colour in the bird's beak, like so. Right. And that's using these blender pens, so it's another way, and it's a, it's a good way of, um, you can see there, if you want to do some, I'll just give you a little bit of a tip on the show on this one, you pick your ink up, you can kind of Get some really good kind of like colouring and sort of like some ombre effects with it because obviously as it goes on, you can then colour and then bring it down. So it's a good way of getting some nice ombre effects. But yeah, can you see what I've got and done there? And that's using the the, the stamping up blender pens just to colour that in. So again, we're not using any fancy any of the fancy blends or any of the fancy colouring techniques. We're using something which has been around for a long time actually, Jay, isn't it? Blender mm -hmm. pens have been in the stamping up family for well as long as I can remember since I think we've been demonstrators haven't they yeah. so they've 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 always been around so and I can confirm that they are carrying over into the next catalogue as well and it works with colouring pencils yes works with colouring pencils as well so if you've got colouring pencils you can colour as you was and then use the wet ink because it's not too because it's not going to saturate it like water would do with your colouring pencils you can like get quite you can smooth out your colouring pencils 
as well. So, so this, I would say this is something which you would have in your collection. Um, you should, everyone should have in their collection. It's not something which you will use all the time, but it is definitely something which I think um, is handy to have. Oh, it's acid free, whatever that says. I can't, I, I don't know. I'm going to let you read that one there. I'm going to bring that up to, um, up to the screen. So yes, so that was that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp my sentiment as well. Um, I will stamp my sentiments, I think, in Knight of Navy, I reckon. So I'm going to go, you are totally awesome. I'm going to go with Knight of Navy. Oh. I'll position that. I know, Wendy, what is with the retiring chalk marker. So if you like the chalk marker and you haven't got one already, grab it soon because it is not going to be turning up in the next catalogue. So I would say, yes, you do want to be getting your hand on that one ASAP. All right, that's that one. So I'm going to do some die cutting here, which... Oh, Jay did bring me over the die cutting machine, thankfully. I did, yeah. Whew. Because I'm nice. Because you're good like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not all the time, but hey okay. oh. So, waves of inspiration, sorry, waves dies. So we need that one right here for that right there. We need um, this one right there. What are you gonna say, Jay? I want to see if we have a, a dried up blender pen and then re, re ink it with the craft wipe to see if that works. Okay, all right, Jay's got something in the pipeline which he wants to try. So I'm going to take out, so I've taken out the dies for the bird, the dies for the sentiment. I've got the two clouds and I've got the two inner parts for the clouds to give it a little bit more detail and texture. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to die cut all of this right now. So just bear with me whilst I bring the machine up. So hopefully you can see there. So I'm just going to do this step by step. I'm not too obviously. I don't need to worry about lining up the clouds as much because they just go wherever they want to want to go. But I do need to pay attention to the positioning of the of the bird. All right. And because I can't directly get over the top of it, I'm hoping that I've got this correct. I found that the knobbly bits on the right for the... Yeah, the bottom right. Yeah, the, um, for the rope. Right. That's how you I align it because sometimes it... Like the top and the bottom doesn't always match. Do yeah. you want tape? No, it's fine. I'm going to go with it there, I think. Oh, no, no, don't. Okay. So I'm just paying attention to getting this lined up because, and then carefully position that on top and then run that through the machine. I have a funny thing that may have moved ever so slightly, but we will see. That's why you need paint. Oh, no, that's actually okay. So we will take out my clouds. Clouds there, and I'm going to use our lovely magnetic tray, which we were given, and take those out like that. All right, so I think that lined up quite nicely with that particular one. That's good. And I've got my clouds, which are right here, and the inner parts of the clouds right there. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to cut my sentiment out. Okay, let me pop that down.
Yes, the magnetic tray. It's a great idea. We were we were sent it as a gift, um, and I think it's what is it, Jay? Is it more of like a mechanic? If I remember yeah. correctly, it was more of a. Well, Vicky said it was more of a a mechanic, something a mechanic would use. Um, I don't actually know what they're called, what it's called, um, and not being <laughs> not being a not being a, not being a magnet, not being a mechanic or an into my, into my cars. But it's a magnetic plate, and it also come. We got it with this lovely kind of like picky uppy tool thing, which is the thing. So if I drop something on the floor, I can pick it up. It's great. So I think this is handy for like for mechanics, with so they they drop something and they can pick something up, and then it can then get part. Your magnetic stuff can go in. So yeah, Vicky sent us this. Um, it's a great little. It stops us from. She was concerned that we were going to lose all of our dyes on our videos. Because she saw how messy Jay was and sort of like was just kind of going, no, do you need to sort that out? So that can sit by the side of you. When you've done it, it goes in there and you won't lose your dyes anymore because it's just going to sit there. But I don't actually know what it's called. So if anyone does know exactly what its, it, what its name is, then we can then at least point you in the right direction for searching online, I guess. So I've got all of my pieces right there. So I've got my sentiment ready. I've got my bird ready and I've got my clouds nearly ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some Tombow glue here. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue onto some of the wider parts of this bit here. Just tiny amounts. And then that can then get stuck onto this here. That's that. Dana said magnetic trays. Does magnetic trays, is it? Yeah, so yeah, mechanics use it for screws, nuts and bolts. So if you look if you look for like a ma mechanics magnetic tray maybe. I'm not sure if it's a thing over here in the UK because obviously Vicky sent it to us from America, so I'm not seeing it anything like that over here, but So those little bits go on the bottom of your clouds just to add some extra detail onto it. And I think they just add some really nice kind of texture. So that's that. So that's those elements sorted. Have I actually got any ribbon, Jay? Um, oh, I do. Yes. Oh, no, the Knight of Navy ribbon. Have, I got any, have, we, got any, have we got any of that ribbon available, which I can use? I thought I left it on the table. If not... It's, it's, it's in there. No, it's in the, where the top is. The oh. Top. Is it? Oh, it's that, well, yeah, okay, you've used different ribbon. I thought you used the, um, Knight of Navy ribbon. Okay, so we've also got the Misty Moonlight ribbon right here. Oh, talk it. It was next to you. To be better. I'm not as flexible as Jay. Jay was able to twist round an awful lot. So I just need some scissors. Okay, and I'm just going to cut a bit of this ribbon off. So I'm kind of getting all of my elements ready for this, and then. So Jay, I got you know I, I'm not really a ribbon person or things. So Jay added the ribbon to this particular card, and I don't actually know how he's done what he's done with it. Um, yeah, you have to work it out. I have to work it out. So because I'm just going to plonk it on as it is, but no, he's done something fancy with it. So I'm going to have to work out how he's done it, or I'm going to have to ask him how he's going to do it. Um, one thing I do need, Jay, actually, is I do need some of the DSP a strip which you've put on it would be great all right so what i'm going to do here is i am going to now take this piece of basic white which i prepped earlier on and i'm going to grab myself some blending brushes i'm going to take myself some ink so i've got myself some knight of navy ink 
and I've got myself some Daffodil Delight. I brought myself over some Mango Melody as well, just in case I need a little bit of a darker one, but I may be able to get away with it with just the Daffodil Delight, it depends. But first things first is I'm going to stamp my waves. All right, so I'm going to stamp my waves in the Night of Navy. And all I really want to do is I just want this section right here. So I'm not going to worry about inking up the whole thing. I'm just going to ink up this lower half right here. And this is why you're going to need a bit of paper and scrap paper underneath because you're going to need to position it in a way that is down there. And obviously you're going to get a little bit of the waves potentially. Now you don't need, because I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this side up over here. So it doesn't necessarily matter that the wave isn't going to go all the way across. Because if I go all the way across and I'm going to get a little bit of this wave on the side here and I don't want that. So what I've done is I'm going to position it like this so that the wave doesn't come in. And have it like that okay and then that one there can then go over the top of that one and then cover up this gap which we've got all right so that's how I'm gonna get around that one and again this is why you need a bit of paper underneath just to make sure you um, you don't dirty your table I'm gonna clean as I go you're right Jeff? yeah you're right yeah that looks good can I have some? Oh, I, I'll, I'll clean. I'll clean at the end. That's fine. <laughs> no, you need to clean. I'll, I know. I'll try the chamois first. The chamois depends on how wet the chamois is. That's that. That's fine. I'm just gonna clean as I go. So I'm just gonna do the chamois right now. I didn't actually ask for it. I said no. I'm fine. Thank you very much. So well, I'm not taking a point for that one. <laughs> It's there. If you use it, you get. The point. It's okay. If I use it, I get the point. If I don't use it, then um, that's fine. No one's seen the stamping scrub yet. You have to sh demonstrate. Well, the stamping scrub is this lovely thing right here. You see, and what you want to do is you want to go tss, 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 and then and then clean it and then dry it. Okay. So yeah, you want to go tss, 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 and um, yeah. Lovely. How does it go? Tss, tss, tss. <laughs> So, all right, so we've got that one and I've done that. So we are going to just take my Daffodil Delight. All right, and we're gonna pick a little bit of this up here. Okay, and I'm just going to start off the page and I'm just going to do a rough, I'm not gonna worry about it too much being how smooth it is. Hey, come on. Yeah. I'm just going to go over. I'm now going to try not to go too much into the blue because blue and yellow make green and I don't want a green sky. So I'm just gently coming down, stopping short of the of the sea. Okay. They intensify it a little bit around the tops. Loves the magnetic trays. Um, Nani Shasha says um, half words do it in the UK. Okay. Mostly everyone got got theirs from Amazon. Okay. So there we go. Halfords or um, Amazon. All right. I am going to use a little bit of the night um, the mango melody. I'm going to use the same brush because they're both yellows, and I finished with the daffodil delight now. It's the daffodil delight. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to be very careful with this. I'm just going to think about where I'm going to position this sentiment. So this sentiment is going to go kind of like this. And this is going to go on it like that. So I kind of want a sunspot in the middle. So I'm just going to take off a little bit, see how intense it is. And I'm just going to go...
kind of like got a bit of a sunspot hot spot going on there so as that goes over the top that goes over like that we've created that we've created that scene all right so that's done but i would say your your tip with these if you get something which is i'm just going to turn it over and i'm going to just going to show you if you go directly down onto the cardstock you tend to get it, it's too you you get it's too strong so if you're having problems like that and you can't blend it out what I, what you're going to need to do is that's why we always have a bit of paper underneath take off the excess and then blend it in and you find you get a much smoother okay you get a much smoother blend because you've taken off that initial wet so you kind of dab it off a few times and then blend it around okay so if you're struggling with that then that i would have a bit of paper and just dab it off a few times all right so there's a few tips for you along the way so once you've gone ahead and gone and done that what we can do is we can go ahead and we can then stick this to the Knight of Navy cardstock. So what's everyone saying, Jay, any, um... um yes, uh, everyone's just talking about the magnetic um, <laughs> trays, and I pinned Charlotte's um, message on top because she said, click the thumbs up button now before you forget, you already know it's going to be wonderful. Thank you, Charlotte. So we've gone ahead, gone ahead and we've gone and done that there. All right, so I've got myself my card base now. I'm going to move my brushes out of the way. And I'm going to put those in my magnetic plate as well. It's up, facing up so they don't get the um, transfer any ink, but they are in there. So I'm just going to fold and burnish my card base. All right, and then this here is going to go over like this here. I've got myself some designer series paper, so we've got some little bits here, measuring, um, we've got measuring, uh, these are 3.8 centimetres by 4.9 centimetres, I don't think it really matters too much with the height because we're going to hide it underneath but it's more 3.8 centimetres, or whatever width you really want, which is one and a half inches. Okay, and then this is gonna then go underneath this like that. And we're kind of gonna, but we're kind of creating the illusion that there's a whole strip underneath it. But instead of wasting an entire strip, we're just gonna be popping it down like so. So they can get stuck down initially, first of all. So we will stick this one And that's that one now obviously the, the the thing which the hardest thing now which we've got is to making sure that these um line up so i'm gonna position that one like so flush with the top of the card and we'll do the same thing with this one down here So we could use a ruler if we want to line that up just so that we get that in the same position and then we can then butt that up against that like so. Okay, so we've created the illusion there that there's a whole piece underneath because when, when this goes underneath like that, that's what we've got. Okay, so once we've done that, we can then happy enough to then stamp this down or stick this down. Onto this. Now I am going to do a little bit more stamping on this. Now I'm being brave and I'm going to do the stamping at the end. <laughs> I just hope that it works. And I don't make a mistake. So we'll stick that one down. 
just like that. I'm just bringing it down a little bit lower as well. So it's a little bit, we've got a bigger gap at the top and a smaller at the bottom. Good, so we will need some dimensionals. So what I've got here is I've got some, some large and some minis. Which you need? my lid back on that in a way and then what we're going to do is we're just going to pop some dimensionals on the back of the bird like so and we will do the same <coughs> with the sentiment as well I'm going to use the larger ones for the sentiment going to go over but that's going to cover up those imperfections on this side over here so that's going to go around about like that and then this one here is going to go so what I've actually done is I need to remove these ones here I put them in the wrong place so I'm just going to I'm just going to remove these. That's fine. And if you've got one of the glue erasers, then that's that's fine. You can go ahead and just remove the backing of the of that. Because the reason what I needed to do is I needed to, I need it to be over a little bit. So I put the dimensionals a little bit too close to the side. So I need to put the dimensionals more on that side over here. So along the edge on this side here. So it doesn't interfere too much with the sentiment. All right. So do remember, if you do live in the UK, France, Germany, Netherlands, or Austria, you can purchase from us. So if you like anything you see us using, then links to our online shop can be found in the descriptions. All right. And then that's going to go over like so. And if you want to, you can just grab yourself a little bit of glue and just pop a little bit of glue underneath there and over there and that will then just give that a little bit of um, permanent stick to that one so that's that part what we're going to do here next is I'm going to grab my glue once again and I'm just going to pop some glue on this side over here because there's a bit of a lip I'm not going to worry about sticking it to this side as long as it is stuck to this one over here it kind of like then raises it up that one can go there like so I've got the fun part with the ribbon in a moment I don't really do not know how Jay did it We're going to have that one goes on like so and then we are going to grab some memento and now I'm going to be brave look at it I'm going to make sure I know when I did my prototype I had a little bit of ink which was on the rubber at the top here and then that's when I doubt I ruined it a little bit so I'm just going to make sure I've got my stamp which is clean and I'm going to go one there make sure it's clean and then go 
I love these birds. What noise do they make? What sound? Squee, squee. <laughs> That's from <laughs> that's from friends, I think, isn't it? So should I come out home? <laughs> no, it's that's from Big Bang Theory. <laughs> there we go. So that's that. Now, oh, we I do I do need to have some gems actually. You can see I'm I'm stalling on the ribbon because I really do not want to have to do it. Got any Big Bang Theory fans out there? You probably know what I'm talking. What what scene I'm thinking of? Um, so I've got one there. So I'm using the lovely Rhinestone Waves Basic Jewels. Is what I'm using here. Go there and up the top there. Okay, so Jay, how did you do this fancy thing with a ribbon? See now he's done something. Which you do a half bow <sighs> and then you curve it. You're going to have to come over and do it. Oh, it's okay. Is this five points? No, this is... <laughs> well, I can stick that. I can stick a bow on, but if you want to see how Jay's done his bow, then... Um, You're going to have to get five points. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just going to stick it I'm on kidding. then. <laughs> so, fine, I'm just going to stick it on like that. <laughs> but he's done something fancy with it, and I don't know how he's done it. So I'm just going to hand you over to Jay for that one. <laughs> so... Um, if you do a normal bow, um, fold it in half, over and under, and then I'm pulling that one in, and I'm actually pulling the other end out, like so. That's how I did it, but that's probably an easier way. <laughs> Make it tight. And then either use your nails or the side. Okay, is that working? No, I think my nails is better. <laughs> and that should just curl itself. Maybe you could do that with ribbon. What? What, well, like, that's the type of thing you would do with paper too. And then... Well, you know you could do it with certain ribbons, but... You just hit my head. I have just hit you. <laughs> you didn't even say sorry, you just went... Uh, you'll need... Uh, whatchamacallit? Tweezers. Which I don't know. They are, they're um, in... I didn't Was it on the top? Yeah, they're in one of the tubs. I'm sure that would take... And then to do, and I just continued on twirling, twirl, twirl, twirl. I haven't hit. Um, I I don't know if the heat tool might might make it even better, but I just quick, just keep twirling, and then you can have it really tight. There you go. It looks nice, but when you're sending it, it'll probably get flattened. So. <laughs> there you go. So you can extend it out if you want to, if it's too curly. And then that's just get added on with a mini glue dot. That confuses me with being on the back side there. What the glue, the oh, I see. So I, I'm just gonna have it there. You can place it somewhere else if you prefer, but and then just tidy up the bow or the ribbon. I'm gonna cut that slightly smaller. See, I think. Do we need no? Need I snip? think we just need to clean it first. <laughs> I've been saying. There you go, and that is the bow. It's like I made it all myself now. <laughs> well done, Barry. <laughs> Lovely. So, there is card number one for you. I really, really happy. I think this is just such a bright and jolly card. Um, 
a sort of real simple coloring on here some simple uh, some obviously some blending techniques but I think this is a bit of a me personally I think this is a bit of a wow card I do I think it's really I think it's lovely um yeah and using it use use get I think getting the most out of papers and everything why are you laughing at me Jay you're laughing at me no, I'm, I'm, I'm laughing at Betty said absolutely not Jay <laughs> So, there we go. So if you'd like to win this card, then you, all you need to do is you need to come. You need to pop a comment in the live chat here. If you pop a comment in the live chat, then you will be in the draw for winning this card. Okay, you don't need to write essays. Don't anything. Just need to say hi. I do. Tell us where you're from. It's nice to know where you're all from as well. But just say hi. Just one entry is all you need to do. And then if that's all you want to do, or well, you can chat along with us like everyone else does. You feel like it. So, good. I'm going to crack on. I'm just going to tidy up quickly and then get ready for the second card. And we will go from there. See, initially when I designed this card, I didn't do any of the design of serious paper and I didn't do the ribbon and I didn't put any gems on it. Then I said to Jay, I said, you just need to put your magic onto it, please. And then he'd come along and he did the rest of it. And then just took it to a whole new level, which is which is really nice. It's sort of... And that's where the two of us are hopefully, um, I think we, we play off of each other's strengths. Jay has just got an, I've got an art for just finishing things off, I think. So there we go. Hi, Samantha. So, oh, Nottingham. Lovely. So good, there we go. I'm going to move on to card number two now. And I don't know where the original card is. Card number two, it's up there, so I've got nothing to case. Oh, did you have it? No, it's, like it's still oh, on the shelf it's... over there. So good. Thank you very much. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get ready for card number two. So I'm going to cut my card base here. I'm getting myself in the right tin wars tonight. Where's the trimmer gone now? Oh, Tommy, are you laying on it? Did you pinch that? No, because I, I cut your DS before you, didn't I? Mm. <laughs> I did pinch it. You did pinch it, <laughs> but he didn't put it back where it would from easy reach for me. And then, so same thing as normal: fourteen point six or five and three quarters, score in half at ten and a half, or four and one eighths of an inch. And that there is your card base. What I'm going to do now is I just need a bit more basic white normal and I'm just going to cut this down to size so I just need to work out how big this needs to be no 13.6 by 9.5 will be good I reckon for this one so 13.6 by 9.5 Okay, so that there is ready for another card. I've got so I do need some scraps later on for the sentiment and so on, um, but I've got that still from this one here, which I can still use. So that's that one. So what colours are we going to be using on this, and Jay? What colours have you given me? We have got. Ooh. I wasn't actually paying attention to me to you when you just dis were discussing this earlier on. So what colour combination did you uh, want me to do? So I've given you Costa Cabana, Pacific yeah. Point. You have Knight of Navy from the previous card. Yeah. Or you can use the Bermuda Bay. So what's Eclipse Coral for? Uh, for the sentiment. For the sentiment. So I'm doing the C as in Knight of Navy. And Bermuda Bay or Pacific Point and let's do what did you do on that one there? That looks like Coastal Cabana and Knight uh, of Navy, it's isn't Memento it? And Bermuda Bay. Oh, is that really on there? Yeah. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. Oh, that would be interesting to show you afterwards. Um I'm gonna go Pacific Point and Coastal Cabana, I think, for this one here. I'm gonna bring in my stamp set again, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with the lightest one. And I'm going to have myself a dauber as well. Grab myself one of these for the darker colour. So I'm just going to grab myself something here, a dark 
one which is suitable for dark. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink up the whole thing in the lightest colour. So. <laughs> Charlotte said um, you should make four three of them and send everyone one. 43 of them. <laughs> of the first. <laughs> a couple of people um, prefer it without the bow or without the ribbon uh, to be more masculine, but they love the hat. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. All right, so we've got Coastal Cabana, which is down like that. Now I'm going to grab myself some Pacific Points. I've got myself a dauber right here. Okay, sorry about that. We had a few, te we just had a slight technical issue there and we've done and then what I've got is I've got specific points and I've got myself a dauber and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to pick up some ink here and I'm just going to then pop some ink in in certain places okay so I'm going round kind of like just gently just just in like that so you're going to have a different effect so what we'll do now is we will then bring this over Pop our scrap down, and then I'm going to then position this. Try and get this as straight as I can, down like so, and then down. Exactly, Charlotte. Computer. Oh no. Yes, computer said no. <laughs> computer said no. All right, so we're just letting that ink settle in. And then hopefully, we will then get a fun setting like that. All right, now I did want the white border around the outside. I haven't got as an even as a white border as I probably would have liked, um, but that's fine. I can always, if I needed to, I can always trim this down a fraction to compensate for that so I've got the thinnest white border on this side over here so I think what I do is I'll take off that was 13.6 if I take that down to 13.4 if I take off two millimeters from that side that brings it in which then means that was 9.5 so if I take that down two millimeters from the bottom then at least I've kind of like made it a bit more even so that's a big, that smaller gap on that side is a little bit more even. So, but I've what I've taken off from one side there, I took off from the other side down here. So I've, got, I've made it and it's still an even, an even fit. So I'm going to just take myself some. I've got myself some ribbon. I'm going to pop my lids back on my glue and my ink pads. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the sentiments. Which I don't know, put the stamps at somewhere. There we go. Oh, I'm, and I am going to be using the same one. You are totally awesome. So I'm going to do this in several ways. First things first is I'm going to then ink this up in. I'm going to ink it up in the lightest colour first. So I just need some scrap here. So I'm going to ink this up in the lightest colour, which is the Calypso Coral. And I'm going to just position that down there like that. Lid on. I'm going to take my black. I'll take some excess off. Take the black and then we'll do it again like that. I'm gonna grab my snips and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to carefully cut this out. So I'm going to take out You Are So. Like 
like that. And we'll just square this one off. Somebody wants some attention. I'm just going to bring that in a little bit closer. So we've got that one there. And then I'm going to do the same with, um, oh, I've just seen what Jay's going to have done with this. What? Jay, can you fussy cut this one, please? <laughs> um, Jay has got, I'm going to ask Jay to fussy cut the awesome for me, please. If I can let you use some of it. Yeah, I've got another, um, got another snip somewhere. And then I'm going to then take the other one here. Oh, you just this. give it to me. Yeah, I did. Where do you, where's the stamp sentiment? Um, there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to then do the same with a totally. Um, Just cut along, and I've just realised that Jay actually did lose at some weird angles on this one, but that's fine. So I'm going to do that on there like that. Take off that little knobbly part which we had down there, and then I will then just kind of just get it at an angle, just so we've got that. So we're going to have your so totally awesome in black and calypso coral. Is the idea anyway. I'm going to do a bit more die cutting here so I'm going to die cut the, oh no I don't need that because I've already got it out haven't I? Charlotte there's less people coming does that mean I only have to make 31 cards now? <laughs> right and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to then die cut this one here So I'm just going to bring the die cutting machine in one more time. Yes, Jay is the fussy cut master. I, I'm okay at doing it now as well, but that one, but it's because I'm on camera, it's just easier for somebody to take their time whilst they are off camera. There we have it. All right. And then we are then going to snip this in half. Because what I want to do is I'm going to stick this one to the card base in a second. But before I do that, I will need to wrap some ribbon around it. So that's why I haven't stuck it down just yet. All right. So that there is going to go on like that. We're going to grab this lovely ribbon right here. So it's a sheer ribbon. So it's the pool party sheer ribbon. So it's not too it's not too intense. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna snip this in half because I need to make it smaller. Okay, I need to bring it down like that. And then that totally is gonna cover up that seam. But because it's going to, I'm gonna make it a bit shorter even more by taking out a chunk out the middle. So that goes on there like that. So that when this goes over the top. It will cover that. It will cover that join quite nicely. So I can go ahead and I can then just stick those together. Just need a rough idea of how big these were. Okay, so a little bit of glue. There and then that can then go on like so. So you've created a different size banner with your bits there. And then we can then grab some ribbon and that's going to go in like that.
and then that's going to go. So now I can then snip this off, and then that gives me enough room to then play with some stuff. Because what I can do is take the tear and tape now. Jay's good. So Jay's kindly. Look how, look at how good that is. Look awesome. Some tear and tape on here. Charlotte, I actually did fussy cutting on two cards yesterday. I decided to keep them to send to my niece since it was so much effort. <laughs> <laughs> So a bit around that side there. And what I'm gonna do actually, I've just realized that I just need, before I stick this down, I'm gonna grab myself some dimensionals here. Now I've got one side done. I can then go ahead and then kind of just need to worry, think about the positioning here like that. And then I can then stick that down over that side there. And that's going to hold that ribbon in place for me. And then I can then use this one over on this side here. That sticks that one down. Okay. And then pull that tight. I'm just going to need to manipulate that a little bit. Got a little bit lower than what Jay did on his original car, but that's fine. And then I can then stick that round the back like that. And that there is that sentiment. So I'm now happy to go ahead and stick that down in place. So I think what I will do, for, yeah, I will. Yeah, actually, I won't stick that down just yet. I'm going to stick this on first. Because then I know the positioning, because I need to stamp my birds once again. So I'm going to stick the totally down first. I'm going to start with the middle part. And then. We'll stick that on straight like that. That's going to cover up that join. We we'll do the. Did you shorten the die cut? I did. Yeah. And then a little bit there, and then that's going to go on at a bit of a, a jaunty angle. The whole thing can go on a little bit of a jaunty angle, actually. It's so that's going on like that. And then the same with the awesome down the bottom down here. I want that totally straight. And then the awesome goes on at a bit of a angle down there as well. Like that. All right, so there's our sentiment ready for that one. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my black memento ink once again. We'll take the bird again, make sure you don't get the edge of the stamp dirty. And I'm going to pop one bird down here. Going to have one bird up there and see that that's what I didn't want to do. I didn't check it, did I? And that's what I've gone and done. Yeah. <laughs> so check. And then down. Okay, so you can see what I was trying to avoid. I didn't check it every other time. The time I didn't check it, I got a little bit of ink on the outside of my rubber. I pushed too hard, and then I created that um, that line. But that's fine. It's it's a silhouette of a moon coming through. Maybe um, no one will know. <laughs> Who will know? So, or we can hide it with a gem in a moment. Let's have a little look. So we've got this one on our card base. This can then get stuck down 
onto the card base, directly down onto the card base here. This ribbon is thin enough that it's not going to um, it's not going to protrude too much, which is okay. Sometimes the thicker ribbons are a little bit too thick, then they just raise it too much. But that's just going to go on white on white. Can we go on like so? Betty said, "Make it into another bird." Yeah, I'm. And Sue said, "Trim the edges of the birds." Yes, so that's another thing to do as well. That is, there, there is quite a lot of excess rubber on the on that one. So that's another tip which you can do as well, or just get into the habit of checking to make sure they're clean. <laughs> so that's that. We will finish this off with some gems. What you can do is obviously another thing which you've got as well is if you if you've got one of these you've got one of these sand erasers, which I can just rub it out. Um, and just you... gently. Just do that. I'll see it's just kind of like putting off some of the. the it's is it whirling again? It's no, it's not whirling over it's here. It's <coughs> so we're just doing this. So this is another way which you can do it. I think again, this is another one of those tools which you have in your collection. You don't use it that often, but it's a handy tool to have. At least it kind of um, it reduces it at least. Okay, that's that's better than it was at least anyway. And then I can then hide that with a gem. Um, it's a little bit easier to hide that now with a gem because it's not so strong. All right. So if you're um, looking for those. This is, it's a Tombow one, which we've got, Tombow Sand Eraser. Um, I think if you, obviously in the UK, we've got a couple of us, so obviously any of us that come to classes with us, then we do have a couple which we can probably sell and put them in the kits for you. I think we've got some remaining, Jay, haven't we, of the Sand Erasers? And then to finish this off, Going to use these lovely blue adhesive backed gems right here. I'm going to pop one down there, like so. I will go with one over there, and then I will go with another one. Kind of around there, where that was, and that's now kind of then hidden those things, but at least I've minimized that um, the blackness with the sand razor. And there we have it. There is card number two for you using the lovely waves of the ocean or um, waves of inspiration stamp set from the waves of inspiration. Waves of the Ocean Bundle. Sweet. I get myself too many waves. And there is card number one. So this is part two of tonight's thing because we did have a slight error with the our feed, but we are back. So if you missed, um, missed the first card, this was the first card which we made, so you can go back and watch that one. Um, hopefully I've been able to piece this video together. But if not, then I'll pop the link somewhere down below if this is a broken video for you. But that there was card number one a bit of techniques and this here was card number two techniques as well which was the ink dauber technique to create this lovely textured on the waves so there we have it there was jay's original one with this one which he done which was bermuda bay and black apparently on that one there i would have gone with knight of navy but apparently that is black which i think works really really well 
and he's used the um, the Bermuda Bay for the sentiment, which is why we wanted to change up a little bit for the card we were doing on camera, so we had two different variations to show you. But yes, if you would like to win this card here, then and you popped a comment in the feed for this one, and you popped a comment in this chat now in both of them, then you are going to be in a chance of winning this card right now. So I'm going to get the um, get the comments ready, and Jay's going to come over and probably show you something, hopefully. He says, he's laughing, going, I've got nothing to show you. I'm going to share our projects from the Grassy Grove. Okay. Um, also. For the Grassy Grove online class. Yeah, the one that we've just yeah. done. Yeah, lovely. Don't mind. No, of course not. And yes. So have I got everyone's names in? I have. Yeah. So yes, well done, Barry, and I love those two colors. Yeah, the original one was created for our color challenge, so that's why I had to kind of make do with what colors that was there. But yeah, if you want to join us for the Waves of the Ocean Craft Retreat, do check our website, and replay will still be available as well after the day, as well as our online class. Uh, replays are available um, or revisited are available and these are the projects that we created for the um, what should we call it? Grassy Grove or Grove Dyes uh, Grassy Grove and Grove Dyes bundle and this one is a fancy fold so it's got um, layers on there and it stands up when it stands up it, you can actually see the layers through and it's nice with a tea light as well. Yes. Or a battery operated tea light. Second card with a bit more stamping using the Grassy Grove uh, stamps. And a few of you have actually joined us for that. And this one's got the New Horizons DSP. Yes. And, and the pebbles. And the pebbles. Yes. Not brown pebbles. Yes. Don't use brown pebbles behind <laughs> the deer. <laughs> because they don't look like pebbles otherwise. <laughs> but yes. Moving on. <laughs> the replay is available, instructions as well, uh, PDF in uh, centimeter, in metric, uh, A4 and US and Canada Imperial. Lovely. Good. So is there any last minute names you can see just pop in there, the last couple which we had? Uh, no, but we comments? have everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Excellent. So we're going to go over to the wheel and um, we are going to do the live draw for this card right here. Cool. So eight seconds on. Yeah, we're good. Good luck, everyone. Thank you so much. And the winner is... That's my um, academy voice. <laughs> <laughs> wow, double, double. Double, Sue. double, Sue. That's going to be easy for postage for you then, isn't it? <laughs> you won two tonight. So, Sue, you have won the first card and... You won the second card, so congratulations. If you can please obviously email us um, for both of them. Um, you can just do one email, we'll do for the number two cards because it's the same evening. So today's date, 30th of um, March. And um, your full mail in the post address. And that card will go in the post to you, Sue. Amazing. So congratulations. Look at that. So I hope you're doing a lottery soon because you've had two. Yes. They say it all comes in freeze, don't they? So do the lottery. <sighs> Just think of us if you do win, please. <laughs> Amazing. Lovely. So there we go. So congratulations, Sue. So if you would like a chance to win the second card... All you need to do is just need to come back, pop a comment in down below or wherever it is the normal comments is you would normally put in for videos on YouTube. And we will pick a winner for that one on Sunday evening. I'm assuming we're going live on Sunday evening as well, aren't we? Because we've, so. we've got a very busy day on Sunday. If we're not here on Sunday evening, it is because we have, um, sure we, we'll be we've exhausted ourselves. But I'm sure we can Jay, do some simple... I'm sure um, I'm sure Jay will be able to come up with something throughout the day because bearing in mind that I've got three of the classes and out of all of them. <laughs> See what Jay will be doing Sunday night's that's video. Fine. So good. I think on that note though, we will say good night. So um yeah, do book in if you want to book in for the waves on Sunday at last minute, um for the replays as well. Cool. Thank good. you so much everyone. Thank you. And we will see you again very soon. Take care. Take care. Bye bye. Bye.